would want to go next? Sophia and Gerard, another. I go first. Okay. All right, another duo. Sophia and Gerard. Um, so okay, so I so didn't plan on doing this, but to inspire my daughter to get up in front of the others, here I am. And I'm going to read to you guys a poem I wrote a long, long time ago. It's called Cosmic Dust. Okay. The moon rises like a fluorescent bubble over the city. Distant voices echo through the hills. Whispers of knowledge seek to enlighten. Taste of sweet dharma flowing jubilantly through the mouth of my soul. Eyes glaze over with wanton desire. Intoxicated with awareness of what is, oh, I never get very well, but oh well. <laughs> As the earth blocks the sun's rays from the illumination of the moon, I stand in the darkness, looking outward, feeling inward, my soul merging with the universe, every fiber of my being exploding with the intensity of a thousand exploding suns. Time stands still as the heavens part. Such clarity of mind rarely achieved over many lifetimes, much less within one. Like the fawn who is separated from its mother, focusing all its energy to be re reunited with, mm, didn't read that well. My soul yearns to reunite with all that is and ever will be. Reflections of such fill my heart with love, passion, and antric bliss. The gentle breeze caressing my skin reminded me that though my spirit soars, the, the temple it dwells in stands still on a cosmic piece of dust. I think I'm in the So you ready? And so your turn right there. Yeah! <laughs> 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 so my 
job to embarrass you. Get used to it. Why are we doing that? <laughs>